Okay, I came from the soup kitchen and oh my god, chicken. All kinds of chicken. I ate about four or five. I met somebody. Saw him last week. Saw about the cops went after this guy twice in two days and you know he was a little bit worried there, didn't know what I was doing, but I was just filming that, you know, to protect him. You don't know what the cops are gonna do. Then he came over the farmer's market, sort of apologized and I started a conversation with him. Now, listen to this. Okay, you want to use use your first name? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Uh, Ryan? Yeah. Want to say your last name or? White. That's fine. White? Yeah, White. Well, Ryan White. Okay. So, uh, you're a panhandler, yeah. and I'm playing the devil advocate here. Uh, why are you panhandling? I just try to get by and stuff. I'm living at the shelter. I just people... You live at the shelter? Yeah. How long have you been in the shelter? Just a few days, like, like now, but I've, I've been living here before. But uh, somebody broke in my house and demolished everything and stole everything. And stole everything? Yeah, they urinated on my floor. It was a really bad mess, and the police were there and stuff. But I've, Where's that? Northside? Yeah, 207 Canada. Canada Street? Mm -hmm. So you're homeless? Yeah. Right now. And you have addiction issues? Yeah. A little, a little bit? Yeah. And what kind of addiction? Uh, Delauded. I was, uh, I, I almost, like, I broke discs in my back and they yeah. prescribed it to me, but yeah. they cut me off after they realized, you know, I was doing a little bit more than I should have. But, uh, right. it, you know, it started as an honest thing, but I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get by. I have a cousin, her husband injured his back mm -hmm. and they lost a house and everything because the guy got addicted to painkillers and yeah. met, I don't worry, I know the whole thing. Okay, so you're a panhandler. Not proud of it, but you're a panhandler. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been panhandling? Uh, off and on for a couple of years. I, whenever I don't have a job. Well, you don't have a job. No, I worked at the bottle exchange for a couple of years. But oh, you work at the bottle? Oh, do no, you do you I, have do you have uh, ADHD? No, no. No, I see the people working like me or ADHD bottle exchange. Just move, move, move. Yeah, I was really pretty, pretty fast, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you're looking for, you're looking shape and everything. Okay, so. Uh, some people, the cops, don't like panhandlers. No. So they give you, they approach you? Yeah, they, they give me a really hard time. They arrest me and rough me up and search me. Rough you up? How did they rough you up? They, one time they broke one they broke my one of my fingers and uh, they've put like gashes on my face from standing on my head and what? just different stuff. They're, they're just like excessively rough. It's mostly Mike Will, uh, Mike Will, Mike Wilson or Mike Wilson? Mike Wilson? Yeah. I always like Mike. It was the, the, yeah, he's but, probably nice to some people, but you know, like he's he, he has a hate on for panhandlers, and there's a couple more of them too. But you know, I try to I try to just be like polite to him, you know, so he doesn't doesn't do it. But he, you know, like he, he'll give me like a couple tickets, and then I'll just go wait at the thing just so he can do it again, and you know, like what's the fine? It's 140, and I have I have over 30 of them now. 140 dollars. Yeah. Uh, how are you gonna pay that? Uh, I have to put little bits on it a month and get extensions, but they won't do that forever. Eventually, like who's giving you an extension? People down at the courthouse. You just go downstairs and ask them, and they give you they give you a, like a th extra 30 days if you put any money on it. So I put like you know 10, 20 bucks on it a month. What are you trying to do? Is this some kind of a loan chart department? So you gotta yeah. put uh, do they charge uh, interest? No. no. No interest. No. Sometimes they do with other ones. It's like if it's a popa ticket, but it's a what? Uh, like a, a provincial something ticket. I don't really know what it stands for, but it's a, it's just a different type of ticket. It's not a bylaw, so uh, it's got it's got um, stricter uh, stricter penalties if you if you don't pay it. Yeah. What they do? Beat you up, or you gotta break a leg, or is, that, is this a they, mafia style? Or they, they send you to jail for a few days or a week or something, you know. So if I did that for every ticket, I'd be going away probably for a couple months. So. One hundred and forty dollar ticket for Pat Adling. I wish I could do that. Crack my head like that. Uh, and how many tickets do you have so far? At least thirty, like more than thirty of them. Because I lost count after like twenty five or so, and then you know I'm getting like I got two yesterday and one the day before, and then the last time I was talking to you, I had at least thirty. So, but thirty tickets. Yeah, but I have more than that now. Probably like thirty five. You good at Matt? How much is that? Well, four of them would be four four thousand two hundred dollars. Four of them would be five hundred, right? What? Four tickets would be five hundred bucks. A little more, yeah. Yeah, a little more. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking about thirty. Yeah. Hmm. 
We're up to about three to four or five thousand dollars here. No, it's it's over five thousand dollars. Over five thousand yeah. dollars a ticket for panhandling. Yeah. Okay. So, are they going to take the parking meters? Uh, the you know they they have those meters, kindness meters. Are yeah. going to help you I, pay the fine? I was strongly considering like ripping them out. Actually, you were thinking. <laughs> Like she, I was panhandling beside one the uh, like yesterday, and the woman came up to clear it out, and then you know she was kind of snobby with me type thing, and you know. Snob. Yeah, like. You she, mean from the meters collecting the? Kindness yeah, meters? like I asked her for change. I didn't know who she was, and then she was like, "No, I'm here to collect the change from the kindness meter." Actually, she's like, "Why don't you find a job?" Like you know, like something. But she said a little more than that. But what you know, she say? Uh, she she just you know made like just kind of angry like you know looking at me like a little rude but she was saying like you know you shouldn't be doing this like you know we got like got to put a stop to it kind of thing but it was her and another girl going around she had like big big sandwich bag full of change from all the meters but um she did, yeah. she, did she tell you get a job yeah so she's collecting me money from the kindness yeah. meter but she wasn't too kind to you no apparently not she told you get a job yeah <laughs> just <laughs> remember that guy at the market though like when he told you to fuck off Yes. Yeah. Same thing? Same yeah. attitude? Well, not quite as harsh, but I mean, yeah, the same idea. No kidding. Yeah. They don't understand, you know, like, I, I have no family. I'm literally like an orphan. I have, no, I have no family at all. But I mean, that's not really an excuse, but like, I just, I've, like, when I was, when I was 19, my mother dropped me off at the shelter, basically. Well, she didn't, said she didn't have enough gas to drive me all the way to Fredericton, so she dropped me off in shipment at the gas station at the Irving and then I had to hitchhike the rest of the way and all I had was the clothes on my back and one change of clothes in my backpack because they only gave me five minutes to pack my stuff and get out my own mother and her stepfather. You don't sound like a bad guy. How can, how can you live in with 40 men in a shelter in the same room? Myra, are you sure, Myra? Thank you. Have a good... Thank you very much. No, no. no so, so, there. Yeah. And this is from a... <laughs> She's a, really, she's a really nice woman. Like, I used to live, like, right beside her and stuff. She's, oh, really? she's really kind, yeah. That was some, nice pe her. some people, like, you know, get, like, look down on her kind of things because she she, she can be, like, annoying to some. But, you know, I, I give her a chance. I don't judge people for that no. kind of stuff. No, 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 of course not. So, what do you want you from life? I just want to get back on my feet, honestly, if I get in, like, a new apartment and stuff and a better job. So I got to stop living, you know, it's such a degrading lifestyle. Like, it's, it's not what I want to do. Why don't you ask me what do I want from life? What do you want from life? <laughs> I don't know. Just peace of mind and uh, let, maybe uh, let the cop to tell them the cop to apologize to me and leave me the hell alone. Anyway, never mind that. It's going out of, <laughs> out of hand. So the bottom line, what's going to happen with you? Four or $5,000 with unpaid... <laughs> Yeah. And handler tickets. That's uh, at least a couple months in jail. Two years in jail? No. <laughs> Five years? It wouldn't yeah. be that much. It would be at least two or three months, though. Two or three months in jail? Yeah, because for each ticket, it would be three to four days because they, they make you stay longer. Usually, it's 50, like 100 bucks a day, usually for fines, but for like bylaw off fines, I'm not sure why, but they make you stay longer, so it's only like 50 bucks a day. So it's about at least three days that I would get for each ticket and that times 30 or like more than you know a little more than 30 so would I be too rude if I said this is fucking bullshit no I guess it, it is bullshit you know like they, they, they give me they, they, they charge me money you know for trying to make money and I'm, I'm really polite with people like I smile I call them sir and ma'am I don't disrespect anybody but there's some people that you know they're just so hateful like you know, calling me to piece of shit and everything. Why don't you like every but like every second car that drives by is like you know got something to say type thing. But you know, I just smile at them and say have a nice day. You know. Methadone. Have you tried that? Uh, I'm I'm actually on the waiting list right now to get on methadone. On the then, waiting list. Yeah, they have they have quite a waiting list. I thought that was done and over with. What the waiting list? Yeah. I don't think so. No. 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 You're still a waiting list on methadone. Um. Yeah, I was talking to. When's the last time you checked? I was talking to Dr. Logan like a couple weeks ago or something. She said she would call when. How did uh, they call you? You're homeless. No, I meant they have a phone at the shelter. Shelter. Yeah. I couldn't live there either. I no. kill somebody or somebody will kill me. Yeah, they have bed bugs and stuff. They got bed bugs in the shelter. Well, that's yeah. another story for another day. Uh, you yeah. have no bed bugs on you there. Everything's no, fine. No, no. <laughs> no, okay. I, I have a high bed and I, I will search it like a couple times a day. Keep yeah. up. Just hang in there. Okay, so four or five thousand dollars with uh, unpaid uh, panhandler tickets and the kindness meters. It's only to get a job. Only in Fredericton. Fuck. <laughs>